Hi, this is Mr. Pence from TapCritic.com, and today we're going to take a look at Sims 3 for the iPhone and iPod Touch. Electronic Arts, they've done an incredible job of taking the popular Sim series and porting it to the iPhone. And it was really cool. Uh, they came out with Sims 3 at the beginning of the month and they released it for the iPhone as well. And I'm here to tell you this is not an, a light version at all. This is a, a full version on a mobile device and they have done an incredible job. So what I'd like to do is to sort of step you through the beginnings of this game. And uh, we're going to do that now. We're going to do a new game over here. We're going to go through here and create our character. And um, up here you can change uh, your gender. Uh, we're going to go ahead and be a dude here. And you can tweak your skin color. Your eye color here. Let's change our hairstyle. There we go, perfect. I think that is perfect right there. Okay, we can look at our persona here. You can be a jack of all trades, a nice guy, a jerk. You got plenty of personas to choose from here. So the tweakability is sort of endless here. Um, we're gonna do this sim is just crazy. And here you have your traits you can choose from and you have plenty of uh, tweakability here as well. Perfect. So as you can see, the customization is really cool. Uh, they didn't shortcut anything there. Um, so basically, here's our sim, here's the dude. Uh, this allows you to zoom in and out. Um, just touching the screen allows you to pan and huh, look at this new wish uh, to sleep in another Sims bed uh, we won't be telling Miss Pence that one and then to pan or to rotate just hold your finger and do that so uh, first thing I guess we need to do is probably let's get, let's get a snack here And then we probably should just go ahead and take a shower and get ready for a, find a job. The graphic response is really, really fast. I'm really impressed with the way this runs on an iPhone. Maybe we'll watch a little TV here before we leave. Just look how fast you're able to move in and out. Pretty amazing. Okay, I think it's time to find a job. What do you guys and gals think? Let's go ahead and do that. Let's go to town. Once again, I'm really impressed, you know, this is not a light version of The Sims 3. Uh, it was really cool, you know, they released the full PC game earlier this month and then they released it for the iPhone as well. And um, I was really expecting this to sort of just be a, a light version, but uh, this feels like a Sims game for sure. It feels like there's been no compromises. Okay, so I just got a job as a campaign intern. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Starts tomorrow. 
And let's see what else there is here in town to do. I guess we could probably go to the lake here. So let's do that real quick. We'll just run by the lake and see if we can find any friends. Teresa, let's be funny here. Let's tell a joke. So as you can see, this is pretty amazing. I mean, for $9.99, uh, to have a MOBA version of The Sims 3 is pretty incredible. Uh, I've yet to see this on the DS yet. Um, would like to see sort of a comparison of what that looks like versus the iPhone. Um, and maybe we'll do that at a later date. So yeah, this is just as addictive as The Sims 3 on the PC or Mac, that's for sure. Okay, we're now friends with Teresa. Let's be a little romantic now. Let's flirt. Oop, another friend here. This is Jill. The one thing, you know, I was hoping for, you know, I'm running, you know, OS 3.0. And if you remember, they were demoing a uh, few months back uh, in-app purchases for like clothes and so on and so forth. That has not been enabled yet. And I uh, can't wait to see that option. That'll be really cool. Well, we've met a couple of friends here. Why don't we walk around town and see if we can go to the hobby shop and find some fishing gear. So what do we have here? We've got the pawn shop. We've got Quick Mark. The hobby shop. Let's walk to the hobby shop. Let's get a fishing kit. There we go. Let's go back to the lake over here. Tilting here to get it. And we got it. We got a fish. And we're happy about that. So this is just sort of a quick overview of Sims 3. My 15 year old daughter has been playing it and she loves it and she's a huge Sims fan. I don't think you can go wrong with this title. EA's done a great job with the graphics. Um, the gameplay is incredible for a Sims title on a mobile device. And you'll be like, I'm playing this on a phone? This is crazy. Um, like I said, $9.99, I mean, for a full version of Sims 3 on your phone is pretty incredible. I can't wait to see the, uh, the in-app ability to buy and, and all of that. And I'm hoping down the road there will be some online connectivity to where you can see your other friends' homes and houses and maybe trade things. If you're a Sims fan, I think you're going to absolutely love this game. And for $9.99, you'd be crazy not to get it. And once again, EA, they just keep on bringing out great, great titles for the iPhone. Uh, Need for Speed, Tiger Woods. Uh, let's just hope Madden's next. So this is Sims 3 for the iPhone and iPod Touch. If you're a Sims fan, I highly recommend it. And this has been Mr. Pence from TapCritic.com. I'll see you soon.